Hi everyone, welcome to Gamer Time, where I am gonna give you some awesome news. Uh, well, uh, I know I haven't posted a video in forever, and the type of video is different, everything's just different, you know, I just haven't really found anything to record. But now I've found my new love obsession. I live to it, I, you know, I sleep to it, I breathe to it, I wake up to it, everything about it is my life right now, and it's a little obsessive, I'm not so sure if it's healthy or not, but it's there. Um, and that is a new Nintendo Switch, I am excited, pre-ordered, ready to go, I just can't wait any longer, I just, I just want it now, and it doesn't come out until March 3rd. Um, but here are some things that I've been looking into that not a lot of people talk about. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are quest that question it and just can't find the information themselves, which is cool because there's a lot of shit that I can't find myself sometimes and I need help. So, uh, first off, games launch titles. Everybody knows these uh, launch titles are going to be small, but what they fail to do is release um, Skyrim on launch. Since it's an old 2013 game from way back then, most of us have already played it. Most of us have, like that have played it have already moved on from playing it. There's few of us that would love to go back and relive those moments, but I feel like they should have left it at launch date on account that people would have bought it more than what they would later down the road. I'm not going to buy Skyrim versus, let's say, a Mario Odyssey. I'm going to buy the Mario Odyssey because it's new, it's fresh, it's something that I've never done before. So, um, yeah. Uh, the console itself, the docking, is surprisingly empty once they re uh, lower the flap. There's not much in there, and it's used just to hide the cables. The thing is, I feel like they could have used up almost the entire space and made it a hardcore gaming console. Well, it could have competed with PlayStation and or Xbox. Um, so it could have competed with them if it used if I if I think if they used the entire back portion of the docking station. But it's only a small little section, and it sucks on account that when people play um, Zelda Breath of the Wild, whenever a Link runs through Blade of Grass and when it's being projected onto the TV, uh, there's a lower frame rate, and that's shitty, like really shitty, because a lot of people would. I can see a few people getting distracted by that and not really enjoying the gameplay as much anymore. But when it's undocked, it's flawless. But when it's docked, as far as I know, a lot of frame rate skips when it, where Link is running through grass, and that's even from right now. We don't know later down the road there's going to be more obstacles that are going to lower the frame rate whenever it's docked to the TV. So um, I wish Nintendo would have used the actual space in that docking station too create more, uh, put more stuff in there, put the meats, you know, the, put more meat in there to make it more of a hardcore, you know, a little bit more uh, hardcore gaming console when docked. Um, the, there's no ethernet, still you cannot connect ethernet to it, uh, unless you get by the accessory to connect an ethernet, and that alone would connect through via USB, at least that's what I'm assuming. Um, Storage only 32 gigabytes, but I don't see much of us downloading the game onto the console itself. It's pretty much we're gonna most of us are gonna use cartridges unless you have a child and you bought the game uh, the game console specifically for the child. Just buy a high capacity micro SD card and save and get the games digitally. So if something were to happen, you still got the games digitally. They're not losing games left and right. Especially sixty dollars worth of games, well per game, roughly. Um, Joy Cons twenty hour battery life per Joy Con, and that's awesome on account when I use my PlayStation Four, my con my controller lasts roughly like three hours, three to four hours, and after that I have to rotate it, um, and that sucks. So hearing twenty hours of battery life just for the Joy Cons, which is awesome. Um, the right Joy-Con actually is going to have the Amiibo sensor, not the left one, but the right one will have the Amiibo sensor. So yeah, you can use Amiibos, and I heard Amiibos are going to be playable on Breath of the Wild. Don't know much about Mobibos, Mobile, um, Amiibos, um, on account that I never had a Wii U, so don't know much about that. Um, 
we'll see. So this is something new for me. Um, and also, when you use the Joy Cons, it won't charge with the original grip that comes in the box itself, unless you purchase an additional. Uh, it's called um, a premium charging grip. Um. So. I don't see much. I don't see much use of it. I mean, it, it'll charge when you have it docked. I mean, when you have it connected to the console itself. So I don't. And I don't see it really being much of an issue. Especially, you're not going to be playing 20 hours away from the TV non-stop. You're going to stop, and when you stop playing, I, at least I would just put the Joy Cons back on there. That way, it charges easy as that. Not, not. Not too difficult for me. Um, the phone app, you will need require a phone app to do online chatting with your friends. Um, so it sucks because I think when I use chatting, I like to use headphones. And when I use headphones, I like to hear gameplay as well as communicate as well as chatting. So if I connect my headphones to my phone, will I only be hearing my friends? Or will it somehow sync to the system alone and receive the audio as well? Don't know much. I mean, it's plausible, but I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't. And their their argument was that way we can play on the go and still chat on the go, which is cool. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't. It's it's confusing. I feel like they still could have done something. Like, they could have used it as a secondary option to chat on the go. But that's their primary. And, um, I missed one. Uh, game prices, and when I talk about game prices, I'm specifically talking about 1-2-Switch. 1-2-Switch looks like a fun game. I wouldn't mind playing that game, especially as a drinking game. That would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, that would be kind of cool. But it's not worth $50. Definitely not worth fifty dollars. I don't see fifty dollars worth of gameplay in that game alone. So, um, lower it down, Nintendo. Put it down to twenty dollars. To gladly put it down. I mean, I would gladly buy it for twenty dollars. I don't mind spending twenty dollars on that game. Still a little hefty up there, but you know, at least that's the most I will pay for it. Um, and well, a lot of people would probably pay for it. Um, I think it would have been a lot better to release it with the console alone that way we can feel the benefits of the HD rumble within the joy cons because otherwise there's really not much that we're going to be able to experience um, with the HD rumble without that game as far as we know as far as now um, but yeah that's all I have to say hopefully some of y'all learned something new and I appreciate y'all have a good day good night I don't know love yous bye